The tattoo I want to share with you today was partly an inspiration for this episode. I met Sarah, whom you will see in a minute getting my flash piece, about two years ago. And during that time, I've tattooed her about 10 times, I think. Some bigger, some smaller designs, but the fact that she kept on coming back and decided to get this bigger flash piece from me got me thinking about how our approach to the client and relationship with them influenced our practice and business. Making sure that clients and their needs aren't neglected at any stage of the process is an important part of being a tattoo artist, as important as knowing your boundaries and noticing when the client is abusing your kindness and patience, but that's another topic. Before I move on to the main topic, I wanted to say a bit about the design. I was inspired by a cover magazine I've seen in a cafe in Barcelona. The colours, the matte paper and the surroundings of the cafe with a mid-century vibe have woken up my nostalgic nature and I immediately felt the need to create in this style. I only shared the design once on my stories and forgot to post it again. Then Sarah seen it when I was looking for something on my iPad when she was getting a different tattoo and she fell in love with it straight away. So it seems like it was just waiting for the right person. Today's thoughts are more from a business owner and a personal brand perspective rather than an artist. Tattooing is my only source of income, so this perspective is just as important. And I'm sure that if you're a musician, photographer, jewelry maker, etc., you can relate to this. As self-employed people, we tend to say that we are our own bosses. And to some extent, I agree with it but I also think we share part of this role with our clients. At the beginning of a career, a lot of aspiring tattoo artists have to pursue every client. I was agreeing to work late hours, which is a nightmare for me. I worked Sundays if it was the only option, just to make sure I tattoo as much as possible and progress. I wasn't the only one navigating my time. Clients also had control over how much I worked and when I worked. They can come back for more and they can also recommend us to others or vice versa, simultaneously having an impact on our career. So I believe having good relationships with clients is incredibly important. Obviously it's not possible with everyone as there will be clients whom you will never want to see again, but with others I think it's worth trying. Now I have more boundaries and control over my calendar, but I still try to be as flexible and accommodating as needed. My point of view comes from my understanding of tattoos as a luxury, not in the sense of elegance and comfort, but something that's not necessary, however provides pleasure and satisfaction. Some think about it for years, save money for months, and even though tattoos became much more popular, common and accessible, for many the day of new tattoo is a big, long-awaited day. Personally, making the experience as easy and enjoyable for the other person, as my own well-being allows me to, gives me great satisfaction and motivation. Sometimes it's by chatting all day, sometimes it's just checking if they are okay throughout the session, if I can see they prefer to zone out with headphones on or a book. I've noticed that the initial consultation, even over the phone, allows both sides to build some understanding of the other person. It gives the option to explain the way I work and see how the client reacts and whether I would have to change it to make this collaboration work. It also gives the opportunity to just withdraw before any commitments are made. Another thing that would be important for me when getting tattooed is knowing that the artist is ready and prepared for the session when I come in and wouldn't like to feel like the session is rushed in any way, so I try to be that way myself. And most of all, I think it's important to listen to people and let them know that their opinions are respected. I've heard many times that someone was afraid to ask for a change in design or size or placement or did ask and was simply ignored. If you have any experiences or thoughts on what I spoke about, please let me know in the comments below. I'm sure my services and approach is far from perfect, so I'm happy to learn from you. And if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be amazing. Thank you.